Some people got out early today before the rain rolled in for early voting. Today is the first day people can cast their ballots for the upcoming election. And there's a few key topics on the minds of voters, as Ann Sprocco found out today. She's in studio with more. Hey, Ann. Hey, Dan. I spoke with a political analyst today who says key topics like abortion rights, voter access, are what voters are thinking about when they head to the polls. We also learned from some early voters themselves today what they want to see this year. We came to vote. It's officially time for voters to start casting their ballots. And we want to make sure our vote counts. Patricia Humphrey and Regina Williams did not hesitate to cast their votes early. Their eyes are set on someone who can address several issues from senior and youth services to disability assistance. Um, when a candidate come up and say, I'm going to help the seniors or I'm going to help the youth, we expect them to do that. Between the Virginia State Senate and House of Delegates, 140 seats are open for November's election. The number of open seats and the number of competitive seats really means is that there's a very real chance that Democratic controlled legislative seats could flip. Leslie Coggle teaches political science at Virginia Wesleyan University. She says there are a few main topics concerning voters this year in Virginia. The abortion ban is something that's gotten a lot of attention, possibly some of the voting access laws. I think Governor Yunkin has been very clear that in his next budget, he wants permanent tax cuts, not tax rebates. With a lot at stake, Coggle says now is the time to educate yourselves on the candidates before you check that box. I would really hope that people would think, OK, what do I really care about? What matters to me? And then figure out where the politicians stand on those issues. And Coggle says abortion rights is one of the biggest key issues at stake, depending on how this November election turns out, with Governor Glenn Youngkin pushing for a 15-week ban. I'm Ann Sparocco for 13 News Now. And to learn more about where and how you can cast your votes, head to 13newsnow.com and just search early voting.